Knights and Sith Lords, and welcome to Star Wars Artifacts. My name is Dominic, aka Lord Doom, and today we'll be reviewing two carbon crystals with light effects. Before we begin, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, and smash the like button to help me continue my work. You can also follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. All the links are available in the description below. Sold since the opening of the two Galaxy's Edge parks, those two crystals have nothing to do with the Kyber crystals compatible with Holocrons or Savvy's Workshop lightsabers. They are sold for 85 US dollars or around 110 Canadian dollars. You will find them at Dakandar's Den of Antiquities. And of talking, let's start the review. First, let's take a closer look at the boxes. On the one on the left, we can read Green Camera Crystal with Light Up Effect. In the middle, there is an image of the crystal and its casing. On the bottom right corner, you will find the Duck on Dars Den of Antiquities logo. On the sides, the look of the box reminds us of the crates in which the legacy lightsabers are sold. On the back, you can read the following text. At the heart of every lightsaber is a kyber crystal which was attuned to the Force. According to the legend, the ancient Sith used massive kyber crystals to create super weapons. On the box on the right, you will find the same information except that it is written red kyber crystal and that the image in the middle now represents the object located inside. The text on the back is identical to the one on the green crystal box. Both crystals are protected by two beautiful casings. Let's start by looking at the one containing the green crystal. This one is of a gray beige color with cool shapes engraved on it. The orbesh writing on the cover means ignorance yet knowledge. Once the casing is opened, we can see that the crystal is protected by a foam material. The cover is held straight up by a thin fake leather strap. Once you remove the foam, you can see the crystal on a sided sheet, very reminiscent of what you see inside a legacy lightsaber crate. The look of the crystal gives us the impression that it has just been picked up on Ilum, the planet on which Jedi travel to gather their crystal when the moment to build their lightsabers has come. Both extremities look like a piece of rock. The crystal portion seems to be made of resin in which the word harmony is sculpted. The biggest of the two rocky parts split in half to reveal the battery compartment. The crystal requires three LR44 batteries. It is also the place where you will find the on and off switch to turn the LED light on. The two rocky parts hold on to each other with a magnet. When turned on, you can light up the crystal by applying a gentle pressure on each sides of the base. You can turn it off by repeating the operation. Unfortunately, the crystal is not very bright, especially when there are other lights turned on. Now, let's move on to the red crystal. The casing is based on the same model, but with a totally different color palette and different motifs that provide a much darker look. The mix of black and red obviously refer 
to the Sith religion. So, my quest to translate the Sith writing on the cover of the casing began. Since I am not fluent in ancient Sith language, I had to find myself a protocol droid to help me with the translation. However, his programming would not allow him to pronounce the words, so we had to fly all the way down to Kijimi. There, I hired the services of Babu Frick, who helped me reprogram my droid. It is only then that I discovered that the writing meant true victory, my chains are broken. Once the casing was opened, I was really happy to find out that the writing on the crystal was in Orabesh instead of ancient Sith. This word means power. The red crystal shows the same characteristics as the green. Its extremity splits in half to reveal the battery compartment and the activation button. Without any surprises, the red crystal light is not brighter than the greens. Surprisingly, they look a lot brighter on these pictures than in real life. Both casings have the following dimensions. 8 inches long by 2.5 inches high by 3 inches deep. The crystal itself is 6 inches long and the total weight is about 1 pound and 14 ounces. Both kyber crystals are great decorative pieces and make excellent companions for even more important pieces. As you can see on those pictures, the crystals look great right next to a Jedi lightsaber like Luke Skywalker's or a Sith Lord's like Count Dooku. It can also serve as a central piece with the Jedi or Sith mini busts surrounding them. Those busts can also be found at Dakar Dar's Den of Antiquities. I will review them in the upcoming months, so make sure to subscribe to the channel if you don't want to miss them. As we just saw, those two pieces look a lot better with the right decor. My only down point is the brightness of the LED lights. Their price of 85 US dollars for each one of them is a bit steep and should be lowered around the 50 to 60 dollars bracket. The casings and the crystals look great and could be an excellent souvenir of your stay on Batu. What do you think of those crystals? Is it the kind of props you are interested into? Let me know in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to share it with your friends. I'll see you next week for another review, and until then, may the Force be with you, always. Remember, the Force will be with you, always. Yeah.